I think that he's cute. He's kind of cute. cute. I, I like his I like his outfit under the minus the minus the shirt minus oh that's not the guy we were talking about no. he needs to get out no <laughs> get out like no I'm not give, I'm take not, that the fuck off your head I'm not giving any more clues it's gonna be on the main end. that's all you get it's you're so boo last question last question I want to make it good okay what is your favorite just your absolute favorite thing about being in Hawaii that you you couldn't get anywhere else and you're gonna miss it when you leave I have to say the spirit minus me <laughs> I have to say the spirit I feel like this place is like the place that maybe the gods lived at one time in their lives because it just feels so I don't want to use the word magical but it feels very um godly does that make sense? Like, the rainbows that you see, the, the almost daily. The, You're like in ancient Hawaiian time. Yeah, it's <laughs> just really... And I, I feel like people have a, a sense of culture here, especially being Hawaiian. People are really rooted in that. And there's something really nice about that because it's also part of the U.S., so it feels like living in a different country, but you're not. Um, so I, I'd have to say that. And the last question... Would I have sex with anybody at work? Yes. <laughs> who, who, I really wanted to ask that. Yes, <laughs> who okay. Would, who, who how would with? how many people at work would you possibly have sex with? There's gotta be. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do we have time for that? Though? I'm going to say that I'm gonna exclude the people who are in relationships because I'm not a home wrecker. I'm not a housewife. But if you, but hold on, I'm not a housewife. You can but fantasize. Not, but I'm not a home wrecker neither. Um, I'm not a housewife, but I'm not a home. I'm not a home wrecker <laughs> neither. Um, yeah, I could fantasize. There's a there's a little white boy with a girlfriend who mm-hmm. looks like he has some rhythm. Um, he but, looks like he has a lot. Yeah, he does. He looks like he has a lot of rhythm. <laughs> um, but no, he's got a girlfriend, and I I, I honor and respect. If you were straight. Are there any girls you would have sex with no, at work? because I've never had sex with a girl and I've never had... No, but if you were straight, like, do you look at some girls and you're just like, you know, I could see why guys would want to fuck her. If well, you yeah, were of straight. I can appreciate a woman's beauty. And her boobies? And her ass? Yeah. What about some ass? You can appreciate some ass even if you're gay. Yeah, I can. It's nice to look at, I can certainly appreciate some of these guys' asses at work. <laughs> that is faux show. Faux show. And last question before we exit this video. What is your type of guy? Like, what is the type of guy you go for? Like, you know, it's weird. I used to say that I didn't have a type, which I feel like is such a typical thing to actually say out loud. But I've now discovered that I think I... I really find myself <laughs> liking, like, awkward-looking white guys. I don't know what that's You about. like white boys! Yeah, okay, I think so also because I spent a lot of time in, because when I was living in London, obviously that's really what I was around. But even before that, you know, I once heard that you, someone said that you like the people or attract the people that you grew up around. And possibly the reason why, I don't know if that's true for you, but possibly no. for myself, the reason why I kind of like these awkward white boys is because next door to where I used to live when I was a kid, um, was this white family who listened to, you know, like, 90s rock and whatever. And they had two sons, and they were both a mess. I mean, they really were. I don't like messes. But they were white boys, and they were really kind of trashy. And I don't like trashy white boys. <laughs> Although I've never seen so many trashy... White boys? Just boys, period. Trashy certain race people here in Hawaii. I'm not going to say what race, because be, I'd be racist. But I have seen a lot of trash. You're black. You can't be racist. You can be. That's the misconception. See that? People are schooling her right now. They, That's he the is. Just because you're black, it doesn't mean you can't be racist. You can't be. True that. Anyway, um... No, so I guess maybe because of that, that's kind of what I grew up around. And there was a boy down the street, too, who was kind of cute, and he was a white boy. Um, I think that's why I kind of like white boys now. 
And compared to other races, honestly, they've treated me better. White boys? Yeah, than other races have. That's, yeah, that's I could really I could real. see that. Yeah. I could believe that. I wouldn't right. say you're lying. Kisses. Bye. Thanks, it's been Camille. real, folks. Thanks, Camille. Mahalo. Bye.